Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga and Movement with Maud. My name is Maud, and today I want to welcome you to your core focused chair yoga class. In this particular chair yoga class, we are going to remain seated the entire time with our bums and our glutes on the chair, and we are not going to be doing any standing poses with the chair as a support. We're gonna remain seated the entire time. So make sure you have a chair that has no arms, get that freedom of movement. Place yourself well, so get your feet flat on the floor, and make sure to play at pay attention to the alignment of the knees with the hips, so make sure that there is space between your knees, and that the toes can spread, and you're really sort of grounded on the floor, and you're not tiptoeing. If the floor is too far for you, grab a bunch of yoga blocks or thick books, and just make sure that your feet can relax. Even if you have something to lean on, just elongate your spine, resist the urge to lean back like this until I tell you so. So before we get started, I want to explain the what, the where of the core muscles, and also the why, which is very, very important. And you're probably here because you do want to still engage the core while taking a bit more gentle class. So the core muscles, without being too anatomical or scientific, they really are muscles kind of in the torso. And think of the torso sort of as that container cylinder where energy flows in and out of and where energy flows from and to. And so you look at the torso, there's the back, there's the front, and so the muscles in the back talk to the muscles in the front, making you know any movement that we do, movements that we do with control, with finesse, and with grace. And the muscles that are in the, in the core, in our core system, in our torso, they really are you know, very integrative. What that means is we're not, they're not really isolating. Not one muscle moves without influencing or informing the other because it's one nice neighborhood in here. And so if I tell you, know, you know, the muscles of the core are the rectus abdominis, the transverse abdominis, the multifidus muscle, the erector spinae that supports the spine, that might be all mumbo jumbo for you. Just think of it. These are muscles that attach to the spine, to the front, to the, to the pelvic muscles allowing for that nice distribution of energy which allows for better movement. And not only movement, but breathing, because the diaphragm is actually a part of that core system, like it's right here underneath the rib cage. So speaking of breath, we're gonna start with breathing because to engage your core means to also breathe better, means to also breathe, period, full stop. So we're gonna start there and then we are going to move. So again, feet flat on the floor and your hands can be relaxed on top of your thighs. They can be fingers facing up or palms facing up as long as they're not engaged in clutching. Relax the shoulders, relax your elbows, elongate the spine, sit nice and tall. And then please start to close your eyes. And if that's just not in the cards today, just maybe keep your eyelids heavy. We're not changing the breath just yet. We're just placing ourselves with intention here. And now move your hands towards the belly. So get your palms to touch the belly so that your thumbs are actually underneath your rib cage in that diaphragm area. Relax your shoulders and your elbows here. Now let's take an inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth and sigh. <sighs> Inhale in through nose. Open the mouth and sigh. <sighs> Inhale in. And open the mouth and sigh. <sighs> now notice your hands move in and out as you breathe. The next time you inhale through the hands, through the nose rather, feel your hands puff out like they're being pushed out by the skin of your torso, especially that belly area. And as you come back to center on an exhale, feel everything deflate. Inhale through nose. Exhale through nose or slowly through mouth. 
delay, delay, delay that breathing out. Next time you inhale in, torso is like a balloon, so inflate it front side and back, 360 degrees. Exhale, deflate, 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 back to center, make it slow. About three more times, just like that. Inhale in through nose. Puff it up, puff it up, front side and back. Exhale, slowly through nose and mouth. Inhale in. Diaphragm goes down. The lungs open up and they inflate. As you exhale, diaphragm goes back up and the lungs deflate. Go back to center. Just respecting all these things that happen inside the bodies without our eyes seeing. Please blink your eyes open. Shake the arms and shake the hands. And let's do some freeform shoulder rolls here. So move the shoulders up, back, down, and forward. Up, back, down, and forward. Just keeping the hands loose. And what's important here is that because we are going to be moving the core and engaging the core, it's good to just warm up the surrounding and supporting muscles. Hands on your lap and just gently rotate your neck towards your right. Center, rotate towards your left. Center, do that one more time, keeping your spine long and your shoulders relaxed. Your left. Center and then look down, keeping your spine long, chin to chest. Center and then slowly look up. If you feel any tight areas in the neck, that's okay. This is probably helping you. Come to center and then dip your left ear towards your left shoulder center and then the right just a bit of a warm-up before we do these core focused exercises nice job center hands on the thighs let's do some seated cat cows here as you inhale send your chest forward and lengthen and stretch these belly muscles and then look up exhale push your hands down and then curl the spine towards the back Chin to chest. Inhale, send the chest forward. Up, open. Arching the spine. Exhale, the opposite direction. Curling the spine. Do this a few more times. And yes, the abdominal muscles are a part of the core system, but they're not just the only ones, even though a lot of people mistake core movement for like abdominal movement. I guess we do that because the abdominals are so obvious. They're within our line of sight. So, yep, that's the core. <laughs> but we know that it's not. Core muscles even include the glutes and the things that we don't see in the back. Come to center. Now just keep your hands right here on your thighs and just drop your left shoulder down, lifting the right shoulder up, feeling sort of a compression on your left side. Inhale, center. And then exhale, go the other way. Try not to look down or crunch down. Keep your chest open to the front and just dip the shoulders down. Inhale, center. Dip the shoulders to the left. Inhale, center. Dip the shoulders to the right. We are certainly waking up the obliques. We have external and internal obliques. One more time. Dip to the left. One shoulder lifts. One shoulder dips. Center. And dip towards your right. Nice job in center. Left hand on your right thigh, and your right hand can be anywhere on the chair. Let's inhale to lengthen the spine, and then exhale slowly twist towards your right. Make sure you don't crane the neck too much to look behind you. Just follow the angle of your torso, and that's your stopping point. Inhale here. Exhale to center. This time, right hand on your left thigh. Make sure that there is space in your legs. Left hand anywhere in the chair. And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist towards your left. Make sure you're not pushing this knee in. The knee remains aligned with the hip. Inhale in. How's that breath, guys? Exhale, center. 
Now left hand on the inside of your right leg, and this left right hand can just be loose anywhere. So let's inhale to lengthen the spine. We've been here before. Just make sure the hand is inside the leg. And then exhale, twist towards your right once again. Take an inhale here while twisted. And as you exhale, slowly slide and glide your left hand down towards your right ankle. On an inhale, come right back up. Exhale, slide and glide towards your inner ankle. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, slide and glide. Inhale, back to center. One more time. You can reach towards your calf and stop there. You don't have to touch the ankle if that's too far, but just know you're engaging the muscles here in your obliques, in your core, and even the muscles in the back to allow for that twist. Center. Now right hand inside of your left leg. Left hand can be anywhere on the chair. Inhale, lengthen spine. Always take the time to do that. And then exhale, twist towards your left. Inhale here. Exhale, hand glides down towards the inner ankle. Dip forward and inhale back to center. Exhale, slide and glide down. Inhale back to center. One, I mean two more times. <laughs> Let's mirror the number of times we did it on that one side. One more time, make sure to exhale it out as you go down. And inhale back to center. Nice job. <laughs> now hands can be on the hips or they can be crisscross on the chest. I'm going to do this um, a version, but you could definitely do it on your hips if that's more comfortable to you. Send your left shoulder towards your right knee, right here. And then make a circle with your torso. Dipping, going to the other side, and then coming right back up. You're making a circle. And whether you're going counterclockwise or clockwise, what I want you to feel is the muscles in the back right here, lower back. And as you come up, the muscles on the side that allow for that twist that we just did, and then the abdominal muscles here as you stretch them one more time. It's really trying to get into this cylinder. And then let's go the other way around. If you want to switch the arms, <laughs> you can. I should have told you to do that. That's all right. I know the knee is going to move a little bit here. We can't help it because there is some momentum with this circular movement. Do about two more times or however many circles. And please know you can always hit pause on these videos and you call the shots on how many times you want to move how many reps you want to take. One more time here. And come to center. Shake the arms. Take a breath, inhale. Puff it up, puff it up. Remember to breathe better means you can move better. Exhale out. Nice job, all right. So for this, I want you to keep your spine long and just you will be tempted to round your spine like this, but just stay integrated. Like I said, this nice little container that we have here is called the torso. Now lift your left leg up and point the toes. Hands can remain on the thighs or you can just get them, you know, on the side, not doing much. Or you can even lift them up to the sky. Keep pointing the toes. I'm just gonna send them here. And then as you lower, just tap the toes down and then lift it up again. Now, remember your hamstrings right here. Can rest on your chair if this is too hard. Otherwise, keep them lifted and just bend that leg and tap the toes. And you're asking, what is this? Yes, my friends, the muscles right here on the hip flexors are also part of the core system. You can inhale to lift, keep pointing, exhale to lower one more time. Ooh, quad muscles, and then slowly lower. Shakey, shake that leg if you have to. <laughs> Again, you can keep the arms lifted, hands on the hips, wherever they are. All right, point this, uh, the toes on that the right leg, 
and then lift them up and keep the toes pointed. Try not to move. Now, if you have to lean back because, oh my gosh, the muscles right here in this hip flexor are still weak and they can't sustain this move with the long spine by themselves, honor that. Maybe you can just let the hamstrings touch your, your chair and then you dip like this and then you lengthen like this. Otherwise, keep them lifted. Keep your spine long away from the, from the chair. Try not to lean back and then point and dip. Point and lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Ooh, I feel the burn here in these hip flexors. These are muscles that flex the hip, right? That fold the hip. Do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Whew, nice job. I mean, these are talking to me right now. But what also that does is it reminds you, oh, how weak these muscles are or maybe how strong they are because they're integrated and this leg, as heavy as they are, can stay lifted. So, you know, <laughs> just a little fun there. All right, this time we are going to keep our ankles flexed. So as you lift this left leg up, I want you to keep them flexed and open the palms towards, or the soles of the feet towards the camera. Spread your toes towards you. And again, if um, having the hamstrings on top of the chair is what's comfortable for you, do that. Otherwise, lift it away from the chair. And then slowly bring it down. Now, see how lifted I am here? Now, keep your foot lifted maybe four inches from the floor. Again, if you absolutely need to send your hamstrings down on the chair, do that. Otherwise, keep them lifted. Resist the urge to lean back. And then inhale. Exhale. Whew. Inhale. And do this. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Look at those thighs. Those muscles are really gauged. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. There's this thing called the other side. <laughs> it's the right legs. Um, turn this time. Lift it up. Flex it. Inhale. Exhale to hover. Inhale. Chest open. Shoulders relaxed. Exhale. Inhale. Facial muscles relaxed. Just breathe. Exhale. Just two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Send the feet down. <laughs> Two rounds of cat-cow. Feet flat on the floor, hands on the thighs. Inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, slowly move forward, look up. And exhale, round. Slowly come to center. Now get your hands behind the head and open the elbows and make sure once again that there's space between your thighs aligned with your hip. Now I'm going to dip my left elbow towards the right thigh right here. All right. Dipping ooh, without moving that knee. Inhale. Exhale. Start to dip and fold. Little test. What muscles are we engaging here? And if you said obliques, you are correct, but really that's not the only one. Muscles in the back, right? Attaching, again, to the spine, allowing for this twist to happen. You can definitely engage the core muscles without having to name them all anatomically. And as a teacher, that's what really matters to me. I want you to feel the benefits of the movement. I want you to experience what it's like to engage your core. One more on each side. Beautiful. Come to center. You can shake it if you need to rest the arms. Otherwise, we're going to get into a bit more advanced for that. You can keep doing what we did, or as you twist the left elbow towards the right, you can also lift your right knee up. Inhale. Now, resist the urge to crunch too much. Keep the spine long best you can. Feel this again in your hip flexors. And yes, they are still part of the core system, the core muscles. Much like the glutes, it was very well debated before. Why would the glutes be included in the list of core muscles? Well, <laughs> that's because of the muscles that attach to the glute. 
And the energetic allowances of the glute really do relate to some core engagement. And so why wouldn't they be? And they're huge. They're big, big, big muscles, right? So it does make sense. One more time on each side. Nice job. Whew. Round the shoulders. Nice job. Just widen your legs right here. Toes can point in any direction, but not too out and not too in, so maybe kind of in the center. And all I want you to do is, again, place your hands behind the head, interlace your fingers, open the elbows, lengthen the spine, inhale, and as you exhale, slowly fold like a pancake. Inhale with control, come back to center. Do not lean back. Exhale. Keep your neck neutral, your face relaxed. Inhale, center. Two more folds. Lower back. Thanks you. One more time. And then come up. We'll add a little bit. Inhale right here. As you exhale, fold forward. And then slowly twist towards your right. Inhale, center. Keep looking down. Exhale towards your left. Oh, my gosh. A little bit more challenging. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist towards your right. Inhale, center. Twist towards your left. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale towards your right. And this time, place your left hand down. And then lift your right arm up. Now, if the floor is too far, grab a block or a pillow. Place your hands on them so they can land. Nice, deep, seated stretch here. Inhale, exhale. Remember that diaphragm. And then exhale. Nice job. This time, we're just going to place your right hand on the floor right here. Or you can place them on the block once again like this and then lift your left arm up. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Find this twist with kindness instead of being forceful about it. Inhale, and then exhale. Slowly come to center. Ragdoll the arms, so grab elbow to elbow and just drop the head and the neck. And then you can dangle left and right, shaking the head yes and no. Legs remain wide and resist the urge to look at me. You're just literally dangling here in the middle. Big inhale. As you exhale, release the arms and then slowly uncurl. Feel the compression in your abdominal muscles. Uncurl the spine vertebra, 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 vertebra. And as you come up, stretch the belly muscles and then inhale your arms up. Feel this opening. Puff up the belly. And then as you exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Come to neutral. Two more times. Inhale, open up, stretch the front. Hands together, you can look up if you want. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, beautiful, make that big circle. And exhale, hands to heart center. Now, very one last move. I want you to lengthen your spine, but lift both feet up. <laughs> you can point or you can flex. And somehow, kind of like, <laughs> get them a little closer to each other. And as your hands are on prayer, you can start to get this move faster, a little bit of flutter. You can even point the toes. Let's do a flutter kick right here. And then let's do some crisscrossing. Crisscross, 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 crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one, seven and eight. Beautiful. Land the hands down. Land the feet down. <laughs> nice job. Roll the shoulders back. And then one more time. Let's inhale. We've been here before. Stretch the muscles in the front. Hands together. Heart center and exhale. 
just for a moment here for a few more seconds, just kind of look inside your torso and appreciate everything that's inside it. What is inside it, right? The heart, the lungs, even just those two. So many things they do to keep us alive and to keep the systems alive, but all the core muscles, the erector spinae, the multifidus, rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, the pelvic muscles, the glutes, the latissimus dorsi, all those major minor muscles, they're all working together so we can move better. So pay attention to them, love on them, engage them, open them, warm them up, and then also rest them. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoyed this little core party. <laughs> I hope you stay engaged, and every time that you move, just think about this little cylinder that we have here and how important the organs are here. So we got to keep them vitalized so that they can also vitalize us. So thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Take care.